Hi, this is Dr. Kang and uh, Dr. Kang's scuba diving story today goes to first blood vision after diving and second the post chamber vision loss. It's uh, both about the vision problem but one is after diving and one is after hyperbaric chamber treatment. So you finish diving and your vision is blurred. So what can be the cause? It's uh, if your contact lens becomes too tightly adherent to the eyes during a dive. Uh, so this can cause uh, blurred vision. So try use some uh, lubricant eye drops. Uh, contact lens can be displaced and then you have a uh, blurred vision. Uh, sometimes we use uh, some chemicals to get rid of the fog from the mask, anti-fog solution. Those can irritate our cornea, our eye. So this can also give us some blood vision after diving. Our eyes, cornea, can get some sunburn or ultraviolet a damage that will give you give us some blood vision as well and uh, some other thing with uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, contact lens some hard or rigid gas permeable contact lens this time the bubbles will find its way into the space between the lens and the cornea and that can cause some uh, barotrauma uh, when we use some transdermal um, anti-vertiginous drug, well, it's, it's for uh, motion sickness or seasickness. If we use scopolamine, this can um, blur our vision. So it needs to be very careful. And decompression sickness and uh, arterial gas embolism certainly can give us blood vision. What about uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy and loss of sight? Um, in recreational level, when we have some uh, usual, uh, not serious uh, decompression sickness, uh, we don't get that many hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Like two, three, usually is enough. But if we have cerebral gas embolism, which give us a stroke, and if our brain tissue is severely damaged, the hyperbaric oxygen therapy can go for a long time. So, um, it looks like hyperbaric therapy changed the way the light refract through the lens. And the lens must be somehow uh, reshaped. So give us the loss of sight. It onset very slowly. So once you start to get the hyperbaric therapy, uh, it takes one or two weeks before the loss of sight begins to build up. And um, we have a myopic change, yeah, nearsighted. And it continues as long as hyperbaric oxygen therapy goes on. Usually reversible after therapy is done. But sometimes it's irreversible. Or it can, it can uh, get better, but not completely. So it's, it's uh, better we know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy can uh, make us lose our sight so you have to ask your doctor about that you have this problem and you have to judge if loss of sight is um, better than decompression sickness or what you have to judge the situation so 
so far for um, many different uh, video clips has been produced to uh, explain the relationship between eye issue and diving and I hope uh, these have been some uh, help to you thank you very much for listening and I'll see you again